everyone. This problem might have seemed a little tricky, however it is pretty straightforward as long as you know how to pick out those important details. So it says a deli owner noticed that as the outside temperature increased, they sold less soup. For each day soup was sold, they plotted the point T, S, where T represents high temperature and S represents bowls of soup. Sold. On the axis, draw a line of best fit that you think is a good fit for the data. So if we see right here, our data as we're increasing, this was our temperature, and this was soup. As our temperature was increasing, our soup sales were decreasing, which kind of makes sense. I don't think I would want to eat soup on a 90 degree day, but that's just me. So right here, we have a negative association because as our temperature increases, our soup is decreasing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw in a line of best fit. To draw my line of best fit, all I'm doing is drawing in a line that follows the same kind of pattern or the same movement that my data points do. So every single line of best fit that someone draws, you could have a different line of best fit than your best friend as long as it makes sense. So right here, I just drew in my line of best fit that I thought was a good fit for my data. It's as simple as that. My next problem says, the deli owner found that the line S equals negative T plus 120 is a good fit for the data. Use this equation, not the line of best fit you found, to predict how many bowls of soup they might sell on a day where the high temperature is 60 degrees. So let's start off by copying down our equation again. And remember, we have this information up here that we read first. We have the points T comma S on our scatter plot, and T represents high temperature, and S represents bowls of soup sold. So we know from this we're trying to figure out how many bowls of soup they might sell, but we know that the high temperature that we're figuring out is 60 degrees. So think about for a minute, what variable would I plug in 60 degrees for? I have two options. I have T and I have S. I agree. Temperature is represented by T. So I'm going to plug in for T. So I'm going to rewrite S equals negative 60, don't forget that negative, plus 120. And I'm going to say S equals 60. So I know I'm going to sell 60 bowls of soup on a day that is 60 degrees. And now we have one final problem. It says the high temperature this Saturday is expected to be 10 degrees warmer than the high temperature this Friday. Using the line S equals negative T plus 120, how many more bowls of soup should the deli expect to sell on Saturday than Friday? Explain or show your reasoning. So let's say on Friday, we're going to say T equals 30 degrees. Then from our problem, we know that Saturday is going to be 10 degrees warmer. So if Friday is 30 degrees, 10 degrees warmer would be, right, 40 degrees. So now let's plug those into our equation and see what happens. Right here, I have S equals negative 30 plus 120. And I have S equals negative 40 plus 120. S equals 90 bowls and S equals 80 bowls. Now guess what? How many more bowls of soup should the deli expect to sell on Saturday, Saturday than on Friday? This is actually a little bit of a trick question because if we see on here, on Friday they sold 90 bowls, on Saturday they sold 80 bowls. So what day sold more bowls of soup? Right, Friday. So we can say we would expect the deli 
to sell 10 less bowls of soup. Remember to read the problem to help you answer it.